Well, let's let's take a second and talk a little bit about what's going on with UKIP, because they're on, they're having a bit of a leadership implosion themselves. <laughs> I mean, uh, Nathan Gill was dropped from the leadership election, and 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 in fact, five um, AMs here in Wales have urged him to quit the Welsh Assembly. So. Uh, we've got uh, Diane James as the new favorite to, to actually win this. There was another popular candidate who was disqualified for being 17, 17 minutes. minutes late in I, his application. What is going on there? <laughs> it's a joke party. But wait, you shouldn't, I shouldn't say that actually because it's not a joke party. It, got four it, million votes absolutely. last election. It took seven seats here. And so. very, these are very serious issues. Yeah. But, I mean, they are imploding in relation to... Um, let's not forget that Farage, for the second time, resigned. <laughs> you know, but this one was for good. So they're having this leadership election. Nathan Gill obviously doesn't get on with, uh, you know, the the group in the assembly, the UKIP group, led by Neil Hamilton, and they're saying he should stand down as the MEP at, <laughs> because you can't be an AM and an MEP. They're saying, yeah. So they they're kicking him out probably. And you have this situation where at the UK level, you know, these this guy was um, disqualified because, as I say, he was 17 minutes late in his application form. I mean, I shouldn't laugh, really, but it is funny, isn't it? Isn't Dario? It? I think that, I, um, to be honest, I could care less what happens to UKIP. <laughs> but um, the, uh, the, I think the thing is that they're in a position now where they've got the Brexit, so their, their sort of reason for existence is open to question. So they need to go through a transition or a rebranding. I do think they need to move on from, from Far Farage. Um, and I think they need someone who's going to say, we are going to hold the calls to the fight, you know, hold the government to account on, ter on the terms of Brexit. Because I mean, we haven't just discussed Brexit really this time around. Maybe we'll do that another time. Um,